Now it is. Talk. Now it just, okay. just hold it and roll like a video camera. Just hold okay. it and take it in. Put me in. Oh yes, the camera lady. <laughs> It's not cold at all, it's warm. It's we warm. we had it in the Bahamas right now. <sighs> Me and my big ideas. We're in Jamaica. Uh, Kyle, why don't you turn on the fans? Yeah. My daughter's home from school from Florida. She's not coming out here. No. She's, she's she keeps saying turn the heat on. She's in bed with a sweatshirt hood. I mean, it's not even that bad. <laughs> she's shaking. My brain's getting, starting to get cold. Yeah, it's cutting across the forehead. Okay, Kyle, here, now how, what do I do? Just keep holding it. Don't let me go on. I'm freezing. It's the cuts right across my forehead, the wind. This is a real short one. I don't hear anything. That's right, right? Yeah. We're on hot standby. Julie. Oh, that was a mic That was weird. Yeah. Tell me to yeah. I gotta tell you, I think this is the first time I've been outside in the winter in February okay, with fans on. Okay. <laughs> here we go. by an updraft fan. Which is right there. Yes. Kyle, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I was influenced by several different model designs and tornado machines, as well as my fascination with tornadoes has really drove me to this point to build this eight foot model for my experience. Are you think we're going to be able to see the, the cloud form? Well, of course. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's started. get it. How do we start? Oh, well, we will, of course, visualize the process with dry ice and CO2. Uh, we'll visualize the whole entire process here. Okay. We're just using That's this, hot water in there. Boiling water. Okay. Uh, and this will create a very quick right. reaction. Okay. And now we will activate the uptrack oh, fan to exciting. provide the exhaust and pull up the convergence of air to form an eight foot tornado. And in about a few seconds here, we're going right. to have formation. Uh, it's, and here it's we happening. go. So, how would this help scientists? Well, with my experiments, I use, uh, I vary the speed of the inflow, the updraft, as well as the direction of the air. Now, with these type of measurements, it allows me to gain a better understanding of how to transform the real world environment. As, and so it, I, would, it would eventually help people like Tom Skilling, or our very own Paul Conrad, forecast tornadoes and hopefully save more lives. 
Yes, that, that is the ultimate goal with tornado research and better understanding the mechanics of tornado formation mm -hmm. is to ultimately improve our early warning systems and, and that also in turn to our forecasting methods. So for cool. Tornadoes. So what are you hoping for your future? Uh, of course, go into research meteorology and improve on the designs of tornado machines and actually try to design construct a very This is his science fair project, Larry Robin and folks at home. Believe it or not, my science fair project was fertilization with brown molasses. <laughs> this kid is unreal, and you made it all the way to the I, state championship. Yes, the science fair is a book for to move further for this. Kyle, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. All right, watch out for him. He's going to save lives. Back to you. Thank you.